This video is brought to you by Landerize.com. Create highly optimized landing pages in minutes. Get your 14-day free trial in the description below this video. So ever since I've gotten to know the team at Sarah Park and gotten familiar with the traffic source and have gained more experience with it, they're definitely innovative and they're always looking for new ways to help make the experience profitable for their clients. So in participation for that, um, it looks like what they have accessible to anyone who's using their platform is additional training on how to implement and execute any new product updates that they have added to their dashboard. So as you can see, you'll be able to utilize uh, the training that is automatically inserted for you. So this is actually going to be in addition to some of the guides that we are covering in Dice University. But if you notice, um, when you redirect yourself to these particular updates, since they're new, you're gonna be able to look at a video tutorial. You're gonna get an explanation on what you are doing and how you can add these particular settings. So we also go through pretty ex um, in detail tutorials as well for you. And so if you'd like to look at how to add campaigns, uh, and if so, if you'd like to look at adding sources during the campaign creation process, we got you taken care of, and then you can also dive into YouTube and look at it from the Zero Park channel. And that's not only it. So as you can see, we were redirected to the adding targets and sources. But if I go back to the product updates, we can look at the new interface that they just introduced, October 9th. So you have the date. And so this post will give you some insight on what to expect with the new platform and how you can switch from old to new. Um, so we're also gonna go over that for you later in, in Dice University and how you can look at all your campaign details. It's pretty in depth and it gives you some new tips and tricks on how to get familiar with the new platform, which is pretty neat. It has a little nifty chart that you can utilize to review your data and it's pretty easy to get used to and adjust to um, pretty early on in the process whenever you first engage with it. So you can take a look at this, you can read up on that, and then whenever you dive into the dashboard and if you happen to notice that it looks different, here's where you can get updated on it. And then next, whenever you go to the product update section, you'll also notice there is going to be another addition. So these are going to be pretty much any new articles that they're going to be adding to their knowledge base. So you can always look at the new product updates. If there's something that you want to get caught up on at a glance, this is going to be the category for you to come to.